let's look at Erin and how it's likely to influence our weather and what it's likely to do as it comes across the Atlantic. So here I have the jet stream and here I have Erin, this low pressure here, and you can see the various forecast tracks. And if we just run this through, then the, the Met Office model is the one that we see with the, the L highlighting it. But then the other various model runs, the various forecast, possible forecast tracks, you can see the various spread. And they all have very good agreement that whilst at the moment it's a hurricane, category two, I believe, uh, and it's brought some pretty um, unsettled or very unsettled weather to the Outer Banks, for example, I think uh, New Jersey's uh, in a state of emergency at the moment. And actually, if you actually if you looked at the feature of the storm itself, so about the about twice the size of a typical tropical storm. So it's a really big feature. No, no wonder it's caused some problems. It caused problems in the Caribbean. Um, but fortunately, it hasn't actually made landfall. So it could have been significantly worse. But back to the track. And as it pushes through, now there was a question, I believe, about whether it's going to go from uh, the right entrance to left exit. And you're right, when that happens, that's when you get your, your deeper lows. But there are some questions as to exactly what it's going to do. We touched on this earlier about the influence of chicken and egg in terms of jet stream and, and tropical depressions. But nonetheless, as it comes across the, uh, across the Atlantic, it's going to go through its extra tropical transition. So it's no longer going to be a hurricane. There are some, some model runs that want it to keep its hurricane status a little bit further on into the Atlantic, but it looks like it will probably be around Sunday time uh, that it, it loses its status, maybe even a little bit earlier. And then it comes towards us. And if we just pay attention to what it's most likely to do in relation to the jet, and you can see it's most likely to stay on the left side. In fact, there's a reasonable chance that it will kind of push the jet a little bit further south uh, because of the momentum from it. And so that's quite interesting. What then then happens, a double then, you're welcome. What then happens is it's quite likely now to head northwards up towards Iceland. And so some model tracks do still bring it closer towards the UK, but the most likely setup now is for it to wrap around and go up further north. Now, that's actually quite interesting because uh, the Google DeepMind model was indicating a, a path like this a, a few days ago. Meanwhile, most of the other models were hinting that it would come closer to the UK. So interesting that it, more model runs are now coming in line with that instead. What that means for the UK? Well, it means that we're less likely to see the, the most unsettled weather that we could have had as a result of what is currently Erin and what would become X Erin. Just to answer the question of would it become Storm Erin? Well, yes, but it won't be. If this comes off, we're unlikely to see uh, enough unsettled weather that it would warrant naming it, uh, warrant it being a storm at all. But if it was a feature that had already been named by the NHC, then we would maintain that name. So we wouldn't go to Gerben, we would go to Erin instead. The same that uh, we talked about when, was it Dexter? That was the previous one, when there was the potential for Dexter to impact the UK. It's the same idea. Uh, if it already has a name, whether it's from uh, our friends in America or our friends in any of the other storm naming uh, systems across Europe, then we keep that name. But what it means for the UK is the most likely track is that it will go up northwards towards Iceland as we go towards the middle of next week. That doesn't mean that things are going to stay dry for the UK, not at all. In fact, whilst uh, the weekend is looking pretty fine, if I just dart back, whilst uh, Bank Holiday Monday is looking pretty fine, and actually the influence of Erin is going to lead to uh, the high pressure clinging on and some pretty warm air pushing across us. Not exceptionally warm, it's not going to be super hot like we've seen in the heat waves that we've had earlier on this summer, but nonetheless temperatures rising as we go through the long weekend. But then we do start to feel the influence of Erin as we go through uh, towards the middle part of next week. And there looks like there's going to be a band of rain coming through Tuesday and, and perhaps into Wednesday. And then Wednesday itself more widely looks like perhaps a slightly wetter day. So some wetter, perhaps windy weather coming through as a result of Erin, but with the, the low itself actually quite far towards the northwest of the UK, much closer to Iceland, it doesn't look like it'll be exceptionally unsettled. Thereafter, this pattern 
of various low pressure systems, quite a mobile setup, features coming in from the west. Looks like this is what we're going to be left with for a little while yet, really, as we go through the end of August and into the beginning of September.